Hey, my beautiful kids divas. It is your girl Tracy, and I am here with my February favorites. I do not have a lot because you guys know I have been project panning and shopping my stash. So I've been, you know, using a lot of the same products. So let me first show you my favorite hair products. And the first item, I just got it and I've only used it once, but I have to share this because this is by far just is the Diva Curl Diffuser. And I actually bought this. I am in love with this thing. Oh my goodness, these are the curls that it produced. But anyway, this is so perfect because this goes inside of the hair and it just really dries the roots really good. And if you look through the hand, while it's there, it's drying the hair that's hanging over. Like, oh, I love it. And then when you do this part of it, it just really tucks the curls. Not so much mashes them, but actually helps form them. I am absolutely in love with this. I only got the diffuser, not the dryer, because I have a really good dryer. And this sticks on to most of your dryers. It expands. So yay, Diva Curls. And the second one is <laughs> Diva Girls 2, and I promise you this is not a sponsored video. But this is their Heaven, what is it, Diva Curl Heaven in Hair. It is their intense moisture treatment i love this like really really love it like i've got to go get some more of this and i've got to restock on my what is it called one poo the decadence line <sighs> you know there's a lot of lines out there that's that's pretty expensive and i'm trying one right now that i don't know if it's worth the money but we're gonna talk about that late in a later video but this line by far i feel like it is worth every single dime that decadence line is so moisturizing usually a lot of the times i use products and it's like i'm putting i like cold wash or shampoo or whatever and then after i get done i'm trying to get my curls back i'm putting moisture and products in my hair to make my curls pop when i use that diva curl line my hair is curly from the beginning all the way to the end of the process and i, I just it just makes my curls look so good look at this that's amazing and when i did this wash and go i used the the no poo, I think is what it, what is it called? I have to put it on the screen. The no poo, the one conditioner by the Decadence line, and I use this deep conditioner. And this deep conditioner, it makes my hair feel like a pillow, like soft, and the curls are just popping. It just is so nice. I love this so much. Okay, makeup. You guys, I am starting to get dark circles. Can you believe that? Like it's been happening over like the last six months, and I. You know, I was under some stress. I, I get it. And I was like, maybe I'm not getting enough sleep. But no, I'm getting black circles. Now, that's not so crazy considering women in my family have dark circles. My sister already has it. But I just ain't never had them. I just never had the problem. But now all of a sudden, bam, they're there. And I'm trying not to complain because what I turn 39 next week. So, I mean, wait till you're 39 to get dark circles. This isn't that bad. But who wants dark circles at any age? Oh, I'm getting tongue-tied. Who wants dark circles at any age? So I've been experimenting with getting the right color corrector and having the right color corrector for your complexion. Plus, depending on how deep your dark circles are, has, has a lot. All that plays a part in finding your correct corrector. Now, this is something that I've always used and I would never use these at the bottom. Like, I pant a whole entire one and still had these two never had a need for them well i do now and i kind of wish i kept the palette for those two colors but oh well i tried this and i'm in love with this palette you guys this is actually part of my favorite i have panned one of these it's just like i go out of town next week i don't know where the hubby's surprising me but i just need this this is one thing because everything is in it highlighter a concealer to match my skin tone a concealer for eyebrows a contour corrector everything but i noticed with this particular corrector here after i do this i have to go on top with this because it's actually kind of deep because my dark circles are just coming in so they're not that deep and i have to be very careful to make sure i cover that up because if you have the wrong shade you'll see it through your foundation so that's what i don't want so i have to be really careful with this like i have to mix these two together but this right here is the perfect shade for my dark circles it's more of a peach instead of an orange and it's just like perfect when I blend it out and I don't know if you'll be able to tell when I put the two together but when I blend it out it's like 
almost invest in in I can't talk I can't I can't talk I mean, maybe today's not a good day to film I don't know when I blend this out with my beauty blender it's almost invisible so I don't have to go in and try to do you know make sure that you can't see it through it is the perfect shade for my complexion perfect last is about a mascara I have been loving this mascara from Urban Decay I believe I had it in a favorites before it is a super curl curling mascara this thing curls like no other and I was buying these little ones because I bought a little one on accident and realized how long it lasted me I went to work one day didn't have mascara and bought one of these well since the last time I bought it they discontinued this and I love pairing this and wearing this up under my better than sex mascara so anyways this was all gone they no longer sell it I'm so hurt I did find it on Amazon but I don't know if I'm going to go ahead and order it. I may just move on with my life. Well, while I was there, the young lady talked me into this Urban Decay Perversion Bigger, Blacker, and Better. And I'm in love. Like, this makes my lashes look wonderful. It makes them look thick and extended at the same time, which is what I was doing with the two, with the Better Than Sex and with this. I would use this to extend it, use the Better Than Sex to full it out. But this does both, like both of them, I kid you not. Which is very important to me right now because I got to the point where wearing them falsies every single day because I was so addicted to it, I had like no lashes. I don't know when it happened or how it happened, but I looked up one day and I had no lashes. And so I started using castor oil on my lashes every single night, which they have been growing in beautifully. And so mascara is important to me to make my eyelashes pop, which I'm going to have to zoom in so you can see this mascara looks absolutely wonderful on my lashes. And my lashes using the castor oil has been working so good. So, so, so good. So let me show you the brush. The brush is very simple. Like I'm almost tempted. See that? Oh, nothing spectacular. I am almost tempted, you guys. If I could fit this on here, I would totally use this brush for that. Because one of the things I loved about this is this brush because it gets into every single lash. Like, oh. but anyways, if you're looking for a new mascara to try, definitely check out the Urban Decay Perversion. Like all these names are per perverted, perversion, better than sex. Come on. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed my favorites. God bless all of you guys. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that likes button, like button. And if you are not subscribed, hit that red button below. Hit that red button below and subscribe. That way you can stay up to date to all of my videos. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for taking the time out to watch this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.